Welcome to Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is Acts chapter 27, verses 18 through 22. God's word says this. Since we were violently storm-tossed, they began to jettison the cargo. And on the third day, they threw the ship's tackle overboard with their own hands. When neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope of our being saved was at last abandoned. Since they had been without food for a long time, Paul stood among them and said, Men, you should have listened to me when, when, and not set sail for Crete and incurred this injury and loss. Yet now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. This passage picks up in Paul's stories. He's being on his journey from Caesarea to Rome. And this journey is not going as the sailors had anticipated. That, man, there are violent storms that are tossing them to and from. It says in verse 18 that they begin to throw cargo over to, to make the ship more suitable. And then it says in verse 19 that on the third day they threw over the ship's tackle overboard with their own hands. And so they are abandoning their possessions. They're abandoning their tools in order to survive. And then verse 20, probably the most significant thing that they abandon, it says that they abandoned their hope. They abandoned their hope of being saved. And it tells us in verse 21, they haven't eaten any food in a long time. And so Paul stands amidst his captors and says in verse 22, I urge you to take heart for there will be no loss of life among you but only of the ship. And so here's what we know to be true is that Paul knows something that these guys don't know. That Paul has a framework on this experience. He has a perspective on what they are all experiencing that they don't have. We're going to talk more in detail about what that is um, later this week. But we know from the get-go that in their moments in which the storm is overhead, they have no hope, Paul worries not. And instead, he encourages them to take heart because he is not trusting the captain of the ship. He's trusting the captain of the cosmos. He's not just praying that the storms would reside, but he's trusting in the one who controls the storms. So for us today, may we see here um, in this text that Paul sits and then stands and encourages them to be courageous because of the peace that he has in God. So let's pray now. Our Father, I thank you for your word. I pray that by the power of your spirit that Acts 27, 18 through 22 would transform us into the likeness of Christ. And Lord, I pray today that um, that in the same way, God, that um, that Paul was able to sit in peace and stand in courage, that we would do the same. Um, Lord, that we would trust the captain of the cosmos, that you are orchestrating the affairs of the world, God, and we would encourage others to take heart as well. Lord, we pray this now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.